Hey guys, Solano here from PlayToEarn.net. For today's video, we'll be talking about games on the Solana network that you can still be early for. With the network's slow gas fees and fast transaction speeds, more and more games have been developing on Solana. The games on this list are still in their development stages, so you still have a chance to get in early. Without further ado, let's get started. The first game on our list is Eternal Dragons. Eternal Dragons is a breeding strategy auto battler game being built on Solana. Eternal Dragons Auto Battler is a turn-based strategy game where you assemble a team of dragons and compete against other players in an arena. Each dragon has its own class, affinity, and roar, which determines its abilities and synergies with other dragons. You can also equip your dragons with items that enhance their stats and skills. The game has a dynamic economy where you can buy, sell, and trade your dragons and items using the in-game currency called Eternium. Eternium can also be used to stake and earn rewards. The game is not only fun and challenging, but also rewarding. By playing the game, you can earn EDG tokens, NFTs, and other prizes. You can also participate in tournaments, events, and quests that offer more incentives and opportunities. Moreover, you can join a guild and collaborate with other players to achieve common goals and share benefits. The game also has a governance system where you can vote on important decisions that affect the game's development and direction. Eternal Dragon's Auto Battler is just the beginning of the Eternal Dragon saga. The developers are planning to release even more games in the future. These games will expand the gameplay possibilities and the lore of the Eternal Dragon's universe. They will also allow you to use your assets across different games and platforms. If you're interested in playing Eternal Dragon's Auto Battler, you can sign up on their website and start your journey. For even more info, you can check out their socials. The next game on our list is Mix Mob. Mixmob is a strategy game being built on Solana. Mixmob is a card strategy racing game that matches music, fashion, art, and movies into one game world on Remix Culture. It is set in a dystopian future where an evil AI has taken over the world and erased all forms of human expression. The only way to fight back is to join the resistance and reclaim our culture by remixing different elements from music, fashion, art, and movies. You can do this by creating your own Mixbots, which are robotic avatars that represent your style and personality. Mixbots have four parts, which are head, body, wheels, and engine. Each part has its own attributes and abilities that affect performance and strategy of your Mixbot. You can customize your Mixbot by mixing and matching different parts from your collection. You can also upgrade your parts by fusing them with other parts of the same rarity. The main gameplay of Mixmob is racing against other players in various tracks and arenas. You can choose from different modes, such as speed race, battle race, drift race, and more. You can also use your cards to boost your Mixbot or sabotage your opponents during the race. Cards are also NFTs that you can collect, trade, and upgrade in the game. Mixmob is also a social platform where you can interact with other players and express yourself. You can join or create clubs with other racers who share your interests and style. You can also participate in events and tournaments to earn rewards and fame. You can also explore the Mixmob universe and discover its lords and secrets. Mixmob is a game that combines card strategy, racing, and remix culture into one exciting experience. It is also a game that empowers you to create your own identity and expression in a world where they have been suppressed. If you're interested in playing Mixmob, you can visit their website for more details. Liking this list so far? Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel so you're always updated with games that you love. And now let's get straight back to the list. The next game on our list is Blade Ride. Blade Ride is a PvP MOBA battle royale game being built on Solana. Blade Ride is a free-to-play, cold weapon-focused battle royale game where you can compete in a wasted land battle arena and earn rewards in NFTs and crypto. The game combines MOBA and battle royale elements, meaning you can choose from six different champions with unique abilities and skills, and fight against other players or teams in various modes. You can play solo, duo, or loot mode, where you have to rank high to get rewards, or face punishments if you rank low. The game also features quests, enemies, and beasts that you can encounter in the vast open world. The game is powered by blockchain technology, which means you can own your in-game assets as NFTs and trade them on the marketplace. You can also earn crypto by playing the game and participating in tournaments and events. The game is partnered with Google Cloud, which ensures a smooth and fast gaming experience for players worldwide. If you want to try out Blade Ride, you can download it from their website and join the open beta period. The developers are looking for feedback and bug reports from players during this testing phase. This is a great opportunity to test out the game and help shape its future development. For even more info, you can check their socials. The next game on our list is Boss Fighters. Boss Fighters is a VR action shooter game being built on Solana. Boss Fighters is a multiplayer game that pits one VR player as a powerful boss against four PC players as fighters. The game is set in a futuristic arena where the boss can destroy, smash, and toss anything, while the fighters have to coordinate attacks and complete objectives to take down the boss. The game has two roles, the boss and the fighters. The boss has access to four different weapons such as a laser cannon, a rocket launcher, a flamethrower, and a plasma sword. The boss can also use their hands to grab and throw objects or enemies. The fighters have access to three different weapons such as a rifle, a shotgun, and a sniper. They also have have four different gadgets which are the jetpack, the grappling hook, a shield, and a grenade. The fighters can use these tools to move around the arena, dodge the boss's attacks, and deal damage to the boss. 
The game has one main mode, which is one boss versus four fighters in one destructible arena. The arena is full of objects that can be used by both sides, such as cars, barrels, crates, and more. The arena also has some objectives that the fighters have to complete, such as hacking terminals, planting bombs, or capturing points. It's also a game that has a lot of replay value, as each match is different and unpredictable. You can also play with your friends or with strangers online, or even play solo against bots. You can also customize your characters with different weapons, gear, and cosmetic items that you can unlock with rewards. And the best part, you don't need to buy anything to play. The game is currently in early access on Steam, and you can request access to play the closed alpha on their website. And the last game on our list is Britaria. Britaria is an action MMORPG open-world game being built on Solana. Britaria is an open-world sandbox MMORPG that uses its own cryptocurrency called Dread, and represents land, houses, and items in-game as NFTs. You can choose your own path and playstyle in Britaria, whether you want to be a peaceful citizen, a ruthless criminal, a skilled crafter, or a daring adventurer. You can also join guilds, factions, or alliances with other players and participate in wars, raids, sieges, or trade deals. Britaria has a player-driven economy, where everything is crafted by players, using resources that they gather or refine from the environment. You can buy and sell items on the marketplace using Dread tokens, which are also used to ensure your items against loss or theft. Britaria has a full loot system, which means that if you die or get killed by another player, you can lose everything you have on you. However, if you insure your items with Dread tokens, you can keep them even after death. You can also own a plot of land in Britaria and build your own house on it. You can decorate your house with furniture and items that you can craft or buy from other players. Your house is not just a cosmetic feature, it also serves as a storage space, a crafting station, a safe zone, and a social up. Your land and house are NFT assets that you can sell on the marketplace whenever you want to. Britaria is also a platform for creating and sharing content. You can use the game's tools to design your own quests, dungeons, events, or minigames and share them with other players. You can also earn Dread tokens by creating popular content or by playing other players' content. Britaria is currently in development and will launch its alpha version too. For more info, you can check their website. And that's a wrap for today's list of games. If you were looking at games on Solana you wanted to get in early, I hope this list helped you out. Which game on this list would you play? Let me know in the comments. And for more info and everything about blockchain games, check out our website at playtoearn.net, where we have the largest database of games that have all the info you need. That's it for today. See you next video.